Hi guys! So today I wanted to do a what's in my bag. I got a new bag for fall and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. Like how gorgina is this? I am obsessed. I got this bag from bagink.com and I love it. First of all, I'm going to be telling you a review on bagink.com and then I'm going to be showing you what's in my bag. So I got this bag from Bag Inc. and they have so many bags on that website like I didn't even know which bag to choose from. But this is called the Vanessa Tote and I think it's the biggest size they have. Um, it's just absolutely gorgeous and I love how it has the suede, the red suede on the side and then it has these little, little leather details and this bag is like all leather and then suede on the sides. What I love about this bag is not only is it like really, really cute, but it's really sturdy. And a lot of the bags that I have aren't like, they're not as sturdy as I would like them to be. Um, usually they'll kind of like, it'll start off really like firm and then after I put a bunch of stuff in it, they'll kind of like sink down and they'll look all slouchy. But this bag is like very sturdy, like the material is very thick and it's all leather and it's just it stands up on its own like it's not gonna lose its shape is basically what I'm saying and a lot of bags can't promise that and they end up looking really just not high quality at all this bag is very high quality I will say that um, it fits a lot of stuff in it but the only complaint I have is that it doesn't have like an inside pocket which I will show you an insert of the like down view of my bag right now to see what's in it but basically yeah I just don't I wish there was like another pocket on the inside because it's basically just like an open situation but they do have two side pockets in here it also comes with these like metal hook things on the side right here um, where you can attach this longer strap that the bag came with which is also leather and um, yeah, so I really like it. You could wear it long, you could wear it short. Um, I really, really love this bag. And I do have a code for bagink.com. I will be leaving it in the description box. And yeah, so definitely go check them out because I would not lie to you guys about like a review that I'm doing. Um, but this bag is like absolutely, I mean, come on. That is, if that's not the cutest bag you've ever seen, then let me know. This is the back of it. A lot of people say the front of it looks like a face, which I never really thought about, but kind of does. Like, it's a little tongue sticking out and stuff. But yeah, I really, really do love it. It's really good quality. I think the colors are like perfect for fall. And I will be leaving the exact length of this bag that I have in the description box if you guys wanted to go check it out. I think they do have a couple smaller sizes of this bag too. So you don't have to get the huge one if you don't want. But um, yeah, now I'm just going to be hopping into what is in my bag. Uh, yeah, I don't have a lot of things in my bag because it is just like a giant black hole. So um, I guess I'll just, you know, jump right in. So first on this pocket on the side, there's like a small pocket right here. I keep my cell phone, which is absolutely ratchet and I dropped it. Um, and then I keep a pair of headphones just jammed in there. <laughs> I have a pen. Always need a pen. Ooh. And I have, oh my gosh, making a mess. And then I have these samples from Bio Elements. I got these at school. They're basically, this is an overnight age activist cream for dry to combo skin, which is what I have. And then I have a quick refiner for eyes, which is wrinkle reducing peel for aging eyes. So these are basically just really good samples that my school gave to us the other day, just cause they got some. So that is what I have in that side pocket. And then I have in this pocket, sorry, I go tanning once in a while. I know I'm like the worst esthetician ever. I know how bad it is for you. But I, as the months get colder, I just like to keep like, a normal skin color because I do get pretty translucent so I know it's bad I don't go a lot so don't yell at me because I already know and then I have stuff and then I have a couple bobby pins in that side pocket so that takes care of the two side pockets one of them has a zipper right here and the other one is just an open pocket 
And now we go into the inside of the bag. And the first thing I have is my JWoww One and Done Black Bronzer. It's alright. Not like super impressed by it, but it keeps me from burning. I mean, tanning's not good for you in general, but this stuff stops you from burning, which is like the worst thing you could do to your skin. So I do use a lotion if I go tanning. And then I have my wallet, my Michael Kors wallet. It's really cute, except it's really freaking dirty, and I love it, but I don't know how to clean it. So if you guys know how to clean like white leather, please let me know because I really want to keep it clean. I love it. Um, it's a really great wallet. And in here, I just have money, my cards. They're not very organized at all. I'm not a very organized person. I don't know if you guys think that, but I'm really not. I need to get my shit together, really. And then, I always keep body sprays in my bag just because, I don't know, if you want to like smell fresh throughout the day, I always get the Bath & Body Works ones. Pink Chiffon is like almost gone. It smells like cotton candy. It is amazing. I like smelled it on some girl at my work and I was like, tell me what that is. I need to know. And then I have this Coconut Sunset one, which is, it's okay. It smells like a pina colada. So I do like these two. They're really nice. And they're summery, and I'm trying to hold on to the summer for a little longer. You know what I mean? And then I have the Big Kahuna, which is my makeup bag. It is Victoria's Secret. Uh, I love it. It's very sequiny, and it has a little thing, and it's busting open because I have so much makeup in here. <laughs> Whoa. I literally have so much makeup, just in case. You know, you need to like touch up throughout the day. You never know. And while I'm in school, like sometimes we don't wear makeup during like half the school day and then the other half we can put makeup on. So I always keep my makeup bag in there. And then I just have a clip. And then I have my Fit Tea Detox, which I'm trying right now. Um, Fit Tea did send me this, so I'm really excited. I'm on my third day of it and I'm telling you girl, I'm kind of noticing a difference. So I'm just gonna keep doing this. Um, and yeah, it's just one cup a day. So we'll see how that goes. So far, so good. And then I have my business cards, which I will show you. I just wanted to keep them in my bag just in case anyone asks me for one or I could give them to someone, you know. It's always good to have them on hand, otherwise what good is a business card, right? I don't know if that's going to be backwards. I honestly can't tell. Like, is that going to be backwards on the camera? Well, it says my name and then it says makeup artist underneath and it's like glittery. I really thought it was cute. Yeah, let me know if you guys like my business cards. I think they are really cute. Um, they're pretty expensive too. I didn't realize business cards would be so expensive. I think that's it. I really don't have that much stuff in my bag. Um, I know some people have more. I don't have enough pockets to keep like more stuff in here. But yeah, this is my bag. Thumbnail moment. I hope you guys like this bag. I hope you guys like this video. I highly encourage you guys to go check out Bag Inc. because it really is a great website. Like all their bags are really high quality. Um, I haven't had any problems with their customer service either, like every time I've emailed them, they've emailed me back. Um, and yeah, I just really, really love it. I was not disappointed. I do not have any cons to say about it except that I wish there was another section just so my stuff wasn't just all inside just floating around. That's the only thing I would have to say, but other than that, like this bag is prime real estate. I love it. And I love the colors. Kind of reminds me of Louis Vuitton. So, but yeah, I hope you guys like this video and I will see you in my next one. Thank you for watching. Bye guys.